Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see about pneumonia. What is pneumonia? Pneumonia is the inflammation of the lungs with copious exudates filling the alveoli. Pneumonia can be caused by infectious agents like bacteria, like streptococcus, mycobacterium, pasteurella, etc. Viruses like adenovirus, parainfluenza virus, etc. Fungi like aspergillus fumigatus and parasites like paragonimus species, dictyocallus species. Pneumonia can also occur due to non-infectious causes. Example, aspiration of liquids into the lungs or inhalation of irritant or dust particles into the lungs can also cause pneumonia. There are three routes of infections. First one is through respiratory passage. This is called as bronchogenous route. The pneumonia caused by streptococcus, cephalococcus follows this route of infection. And the second one is through blood. It is called as hematogenous route of infection. Pneumonia caused by pasteurella, salmonella follows this route of infection. And the third one is through penetrating wounds or foreign bodies from the outside. Generally, any infectious agents that enter the lungs are cleared from the respiratory tract. The foreign particles that enter the upper respiratory passages are cleared with the help of mucus by ciliary movement and the infectious agents that enter the alveoli are usually phagocytosis by macrophages. When these respiratory clearance mechanisms fail to occur, it will lead to pneumonia. When a pneumonia causing bacteria or virus enters the alveoli, it starts multiply and it damages the alveolar epithelial cells. The damaged alveolar epithelial cells produces certain chemicals called chemokines. These chemokines will initiate the inflammatory response. This will cause the movement of inflammatory cells from the blood vessels into the alveoli and there will be production of exudates inside the alveoli. Once the alveoli is filled with the exudates, the oxygen-carbon dioxide exchange will be affected. So there will be decreased oxygen in the blood and also in the tissues. This is referred as hypoxia. When the oxygen is very low, the respiratory rate is increased. So there will be rapid shallow respirations. There also may be difficulty in breathing which is referred as dyspnea. Ultimately, it will all lead to death of the animal. Based on the part of the lung that is affected, pneumonia can be categorized into many types. First one is bronchopneumonia. In bronchopneumonia, the inflammation starts from the bronchi and spreads to the bronchioles and to the alveoli. This bronchopneumonia is more commonly seen in animals. And the next one is interstitial pneumonia. In this, the interalveolar tissues are highly affected. And the next one is lobar pneumonia. In lobar pneumonia, a particular lobe of the lung is completely affected. The lobar pneumonia occurs in stages. First, there will be hyperemia and edema in the alveoli. This is referred as stage of congestion. And then the lung becomes more red and consolidated and solid and it resembles the liver. So this is referred as stage of red appetization. And then the lung becomes more grey in colour. And this is referred as stage of grey appetization. And finally, there will be liquefaction and the exudate will be removed and the lung returns to its normal state. This is referred as stage of resolution. Thank you for watching this video. If you find this video informative, share it with your friends.